Today I have a Sony Gold wireless headset. As we can see this is the updated version of the headset with the troublesome folding section of the original design has been removed. It's a nice looking headset but unfortunately the audio on the right hand side isn't working. So I'm going to take a look inside and see if I can see what's wrong and hopefully try and fix it. So I'll start with that right hand side and I'll just try and get this cover off. I think it should pop out quite easily. There we go, just a few clips holding that in. So underneath we've got this sticker which wraps pretty much all the way around, which has got a few screws underneath. So I'm just going to try and gently peel this sticker off get those screws out and then we'll be able to remove this cover and take a look inside. So in this right hand side it looks like we've got the battery, which looks like the uh, the same battery used in the PS3 controller, which is quite interesting. There's also a little board in there which the speaker connects to. I'll just unplug this speaker just so I can get in there a little bit easier. So just looking at these connections here, I can't see anything obvious. That doesn't mean they uh, don't need reflowing or that there isn't a, a cold solder joint there, but they look okay. So I think it might be time to take a look on the other side, see if there's any issues over there. Before I switch to the other side, I think I'm just going to pull this battery up. Just because the wires do seem to go underneath, so maybe there's something um, under the battery that I'll be able to see. But also it means that I can uh, stop any power going to the board once I've got the other side open. No, you can see the wires aren't coming away this side, so... Um, definitely going to need to get that other side open. So I've just unclipped the top part on this side and we can see the screws under this one as there was on the other side so I'll just get these taken out and then open it up. Right, I've got this open now, so I'm just going to get in there and unplug the speaker. I'm also just going to get this battery unplugged as well. Oh, I hate these connectors. It's so awkward to try and get into. You should never pull on the wires when you're doing this. Always try and pull the connector, however awkward it is. Ugh, finally. So I've just turned this around and held it up to the light, and you can see quite clearly there that there is a wire on this side that's disconnected. And the solder joint that it was connected to looks very dull. So it looks like we've got a cold solder joint there which has failed. Now you won't be able to see too much of what's going on here, but I'm just going to re-solder that wire, and then hopefully that'll be it.
So you can see now that that wire is back in place and the joint looks pretty good, it looks nice and shiny which is always what you want to see. So I'm just going to get it back together now so I can give it a test and uh, see if it's now working. It's a bit difficult to do this on camera, but I have just given them a quick test and they are now working perfectly. It looks like the only issue was that cold solder joint and the wire that are disconnected. So I hope you liked this video, thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll stick around for the next one.